Hey, 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 my name's Grant Cardone. And I'm Elena Cardone, and we, we are, are the, the Passionate, passionate many. many. What did you guys think about the interview with Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. That's all Mind blown. Oh my God. Oh my God. Welcome to this episode of the Passionate Few Podcast today. It's your host, Omar, here. And today, I have the privilege of sitting down with none other than the 10X couple themselves, Grant and Elena Cardone, to talk about everything from life, business, and relationships to everything in between, including topics like jealousy, how the couple first met, how they got their mindset out of limitation, and also what their goals and visions are for the future, as well as advice to you on how wherever you're at in life right now, you can grow your skill sets to truly become a master and build your business and your empire around it. And of course, I brought tons of questions to this interview, sometimes of which the couple would overpower me and go on tangents of their own, but I promise you the value brought to this interview was even more than we had originally intended. So I want to encourage you guys to really sit back, relax, enjoy this powerful interview that's both going to make you laugh and feel inspired to take your life to that 10x level. And also, I want to let you guys know that we put together a very special free PDF for you in the description below, where you can now access the top 10 takeaway lessons from this interview so that you can take these notes and have them with you on your device anywhere on the go and you can access them for absolutely free in the description below right now so with no further ado i want to encourage you guys to sit back relax enjoy this powerful interview with the 10x couple themselves in beverly hills grant and elena cardone enjoy Hey guys, welcome to this very special episode as we have round two or three at this stage with Uncle G, Grant Cardone, and Elena Cardone. Thank you guys Where so much for being back one? on the show. Where did we do the first one? Was that Malibu? Malibu. It was in Malibu. At My the, God, I uh, love that interview. Yes. Yes. If you guys didn't see the Malibu interview, you should go back and watch it. Yeah, that was awesome. Well worth watching. Mm -hmm. It was at the uh, owner of the Seven Jeans household, right? Mm -hmm. Something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Overlooking oh, the water. That, yeah, yeah. that was our fun yeah. house. Yeah, we tried we to rent that house that. this time, but it wasn't available. I remember you were smoking a cigar and you guys were talking about the relationship, how you guys met, mm, all that yeah, drama. That was, mm -hmm. <laughs> I really that liked good. you that weekend. I yeah. did too. You were great. <laughs> Don't about leave me hanging. <laughs> well, let's get right into it. In this episode, I want to talk to you guys Can about... Can I tell you a secret first? Let's about do it. About relationships. Okay. About, about us and relationships. Okay. See how I do that? Oh, yeah. So, so you want to tell them what I was doing with you? We we, we were at a gig in uh, Atlanta. Phoenix. Oh. I don't remember. No, if Phoenix. you're asking me. <laughs> now, where were we? Yeah, I thought we Phoenix. were in no, Atlanta. It was in Phoenix, and we, okay. we took like 400 photos. Oh, and people. you know how patient he is, right? In front of, uh, <laughs> in front of uh, a step and repeat. one of those step and repeats, right? So people would be coming in, and so people would stand in between Elaine and I, we play, and I'd play and thumb behind, wars. And we were the, having a thumb war. <laughs> you know thumb wars? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My kids taught me that. And yeah, I so. was cracking up laughing. I was like, you're trying to make me look horrible in all these pictures, because I'm like... <laughs> You know. Anyway, what was the point anyway, of all that? Anyway, it's a secret. Little things we do to entertain ourselves. Yeah. I love it. So you guys keep the rich, the relationship. To have fun, hot. you know, to laugh. Yeah. You know, we don't we don't laugh enough, but we like to laugh. More, totally. So. Well, actually, in this interview, I, I want to talk about that a little bit because in this interview, I want to talk about personal branding and also because it's something you've been talking about a lot lately, but also the importance of it in building your business, right? You always say that you know money follows attention. But how do you guys manage all that attention when you're a couple? You know, I'm sure you guys get a lot of heat. How have you guys been able to manage that when a lot of other relationships kind of fall apart when that kind of stuff happens? We try to have fun. You know, we try to have fun together and we try to live our lives. So we're not, we're not you know, we, we happen to be, we happen to have opinions about things. But, and we're together a lot. So it's natural. We're not meeting most of the time to be together to, for something. So we're being together. And, and, and look, I wouldn't, this wouldn't be as much fun if I was by myself doing it. I would go home, because I, I did it by myself. I would go home and say, God, I wish I had the right person with me. Instead, I had the right person Wait, with me. Wait, are you, you crying? Know? No, no. Oh, no. why are your eyes on? But I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Are your eyes tearing up? I'm just saying. It's freaking, it's freaking me out a little bit. Yeah, it, it's just, it's just. A, it's He's just, crying, I love no, it. No, no, I was, I've been by myself. I was by myself for, from the age of 25, even younger than that, till like 50. Like pounding, grinding, city to city, 50? like trying to build no, a name. No, we were together when you were 45. Okay, 25 to 45. Okay, I was by good. myself. Okay, okay. What did I say, 51? 50. Okay. So, well, because you weren't really with we me do the first corrections five years. Too. <laughs> 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 first good. five years, she was that's still good. kind of suspect. <laughs> she was in true. and out. You know, you that's guys true. ever have a relationship with the chicks half in, half out? It's not always the guy. <laughs> that's true. And um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I mean, I've been out there where I was trying to, I was getting success for myself, and, and I had no one to share it with. How old were you and became a millionaire? I was 30, I don't know, probably 33. And at that time, it was just lonely all the way until you met Elena. And yeah, so got lon the more millions I got, the lonelier it was. Mm. It's not, don't confuse that with lonely at the top. It's just lonely when you don't have anybody to share things with. It'd be like having a, a big, the perfect pizza, and, and you're the only one that can enjoy it. 
And you're yeah. like, God dang, I wish my friends were here to eat this. Yeah. Or that perfect ride or that movie, whatever, right? You want to share it with somebody else. Mm-hmm. Totally. And and I, I think that's why a lot of super successful people can't can experience depression if they don't have the right people in their lives. Mm-hmm. Not just a wife, by the way. Totally, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's not just about having the right wife to share with. You need a team to share it with. Totally. You need friends and and people that you can trust that aren't going to stab you in the back and mm-hmm. say something else later. So oh, I love that. That, that 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 to me is the the definition of being rich would be to be to have all these things working not not just r- wealthy maybe money but not not health or i got health but i don't have money right cuz then you can't go any place totally or yeah. you got money and health but nobody to, nowhere to go and no reason to go any place like we 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 pretty much have almost everything working right now when do you feel like that happened where you guys had it all or it clicked obviously there's stuff you're working on nothing's perfect yeah but when do you feel like as a general majority like things clicked and you're like huh this is really a great momentum we're in here certainly when we took possession of the jet it was like <laughs> yeah. uh i mean the first one and the second one i mean because those are trophies that's when you go okay that's that's something that shows up in the physical universe that says Wow, we made right decisions. We avoided a lot of wrong decisions. We made it as a team. Look, this is a product that can't be disputed now. So when you get when you etch those kind of trophies into the relationship, those are moments where you're like, okay, we we're doing it. We're not where we want to be, but certainly it's a validation of what we've done right so far. I love that. Now talk talking about that, like what you've done right. Grant, you're huge on the personal branding thing. Yeah. Can you talk about in this day and age, and Elena, I know you're killing it too. You got a new course coming out. You got your podcast. You've been blowing up everywhere, inspiring women all over the world. You guys <laughs> yeah, like yeah. literally a And men. Duo. She's inspiring men to yeah. find the right woman. Yeah, no, totally, including myself. You know, Woo! You know. <laughs> you know. But you guys Not Albert's do- brother. Yeah, not. Elena. <laughs> not Albert's brother. Not Albert's brother. If you guys know what that means, let me know. Yeah, inside joke. Comment, <laughs> inside comment. Comment, comment, comment below. below. Comment yeah. below. See yeah. if you guys get that one. But um, <laughs> you guys couldn't have done that without building a personal brand. And nowadays, more than ever, it's so important to build a personal brand. So can I just get some insight from both you guys talking to entrepreneurs out there, maybe people who are starting out on uh, trying to build their you know, personal brand, trying to get attention, trying to sell their product or service. How important is that in the literal sense for people to start taking action on that right now? You would say it's, it's very important. Wouldn't you? What what to do though? Like I I, th- I think you just got you got to figure out who you are first. Like yeah, if you were starting again, Grant, like yeah, right now, say yeah, you're yeah. mid twenties, mid thirties, yeah, yeah. and you're like shit. Everybody's blown up on social media. I'm getting older. I really need to hang with these people. They got a lot of followers. You want to sell a product? I, w- I wouldn't worry. I wouldn't worry about that. I w- I'd worry. Wor- wor- I'd worry about figuring out who you are, mm-hmm. who you are in the marketplace. I would not worry about all this other stuff going on. Okay. I would. I wouldn't do much different than when I was 25. I'd bang. I'd bang on. I'd bang, in that case, I was banging on doors. Whatever I'm doing, I need to get great at that one thing because nobody's going to care about your brand if you're marginal. So you know, I just left with Sketch. I, I did an interview with Sketch today. If you, get, you guys know who that is, post below. But <laughs> you know, Sketch keeps telling me he, the every, the average, average, average companies. I'm like, I don't deal with average. Mm. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. Why, why do we keep using the average as the metaphor? I need to get great. Like, nobody is going to know you for being average, period. So if you're a plumber, contractor, masseuse, hairstylist, waiter, you got to stand you gotta out. you got to be the best, become an asset. You don't need to worry about your brand, right? Your yeah. brand is, wow, she is an exceptional. I can't believe, man, not only did she give me a great massage, I felt good. I rebooked. I want to tell my friends about her or the chiropractor mm-hmm. or the waitress or the waiter or the, the bartender. Or the guy that parks the car right here. Mr. Cardone, so good to see you. We've been waiting for you, man. I'm like, whoa, dude, who are you? I can't, every time I go out to the front of the montage, I, I say, who's that dude? He makes me happy. <laughs> yeah. So I know that but guy will be- But social media is important for getting your brand out. No, right now he needs to get his brand out one person at a time. Like everybody thinks they're gonna skip and become Instagram famous. Logan. So you're saying famous. focus on the craft more than just building the brand with content or whatever for what men and women out there. Yeah, you, you, you got, what, what do you know? You're just another Instagrammer. Like there's a lot of people on Instagram that will never make any money. Mm-hmm. Totally, yeah. Oh, I got my brand. Yeah, Huda's got a brand. Huda Beauty, okay? <laughs> She's gonna do, she'll do 400 million this year, 500 million, they're in Dubai. Yeah. They reach out to me, hey man, we know you. We want you to coach us, okay? I well, set that up, by the way. Okay. Nice. She, well, yeah, but I set it up because I got known. <laughs> you sure. went, you, we went there. I mean, you got to put all the pieces together. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, not yeah. like, oh, I'm going to get known. 
we, 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 every day we're pounding, right? So I'm, I'm doing what I can to be great at whatever I'm doing, whether I'm writing a book or speaking or uh, selling one person something. You know, I was doing deals when, when I came down here. I'm working deals, right? I'm trying to be great in all these little spaces so all these people know me. And then I have content to deliver to the people, to people say, hey, this will help you. So you'd play the long game more than playing the short game, basically, is what you're saying. Uh, I play short game. So like, like say you were you starting. You got to play short games. Well, we play ultimately a long game, but a lot of yeah. short games to have victories along the you way. Gotta yeah, play short games. You got to play short games. I got to play short games to pay the bills. Yeah. And I need short, I got to play short games to have victories. Because, because Otherwise, it'll wear you out. Yeah, yeah. it'll overwhelm. You don't want to play the game. You gotta have You're like, wins. Like, where's the win, dude? I need a never, win. Never, never lower the target, but you can do sub targets that you can actually achieve. You have to because the long term is gonna take years. Mm -hmm. No one becomes a black belt overnight. I mean, it takes years of work, commitment, figuring things out, building the brand, building yourself. And so. figuring out what your brand is. Yeah, exactly. Like, if you're not going to take the time to, to get great at something, she, she's, she's still figuring out. Everyone, she'll do something, she'll be like, oh, my God, they love this piece. Mm -hmm. You stumble across some mm -hmm, of it. Mm -hmm. So do you feel That's like it, it was like that for you too, Grant? Like, initially, oh, you with, led with this, and oh, you pivoted right, here? Without a doubt. Okay, I wrote, seller, I wrote uh, Secrets of Selling. I mean, I wrote three versions of Seller Be Sold before we settled Sell on survive. Seller Be Sold. Right. Sell to Survive, The Secrets of Selling, different covers, Seller Be Sold. Then I did the Closed Survival Guide like three months later. Then I did, uh, if you're not first, you're last. That was the best seller. I read all of those, yeah, yeah. Then I did uh, the 10X Rule. <laughs> 10X Rule was like, whoa. Whoa, dude. that was so big. That thing was like, it didn't hit a list. Yeah. It hit the whole world. Yeah. <laughs> so it's it never going to be on, it's, no, it. it's hit the and top. And then be obsessed or be average. Then be obsessed yeah. or be average. Then the millionaire booklet, then the real estate booklet. Mm -hmm. Well, the little millionaire booklet, Ooh. dude, the millionaire booklet was actually, nobody knows this, but that's what hit my, hit the vein. Mm. Really? For me, for like what I'm supposed to be doing. Mm. I'm supposed to be educating people about money, not mm -hmm. sales. Mm -hmm. How long did it take you from when you started to when you actually locked in and you were like, aha, uh -huh, this is it for me, the branding wise? You know, like it's evolving. Like when you asked me that, yeah. like, okay, I wrote the millionaire booklet. We pushed it out. Thirty-eight got people helped us translate to different languages. I told Jared, I said, "This is our front door." Mm -hmm. Now that was maybe three years ago. I did yeah. wrote that book yeah. two, two and a half, three years ago. Mm -hmm. The other day, I did a video, the rapper's video, with the big black truck. Oh yeah, yeah, I saw that. Hey, rappers, ball players, <laughs> you remember that? Yeah, I saw that, and I saw okay. your uh, yellow Ferrari. Video you got your too. Richard on. You got your da 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 and da da. That video went scorch. freaking scorch. I did when I did. I did the first forty-five seconds of that video in my office. You, nobody ever saw it because we didn't publish that. I did it. I looked at. It, I'm like, whoa! I just hit something right here. I went yeah. to Johnny. I said, shoot this. I'm gonna get in the truck. But it was one take, right? Yeah, yeah. The next day, I had more check marks. You know the verified check marks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. On Instagram, hit me. All those people. More check marks. I mean, than in the entire time I've been on Instagram. Top of the food chain. Really? Yeah, yeah, Ball yeah. players, yeah. rappers, exactly All the audience. All wanting to meet him. I told Elena, I called Jared, I said, Jared, we just crossed over. Yeah. <laughs> I told Elena, we just I mean, crossed over. I mean, because the names were just like, I mean, one I after the other. I said, today might like, be the day that we actually say, okay, we finally made it. Like, the, 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 the thing, we just hit, we hit some vibration that was like. You're in the right energy space. And yeah. look, I don't know whether it was that, that, that moment or, uh, you know, if I took everything before that out, that moment might have been nothing. Yeah, it was the culmination True. of everything, so, and so, that just pushed it over the edge. Yeah, you don't know. You know, you, you, it's like it's like hacking at a tree, right? And you finally get the thing to go down. It's not the last hack. It's, the last hack wouldn't have done it without the previous hacks. Exactly. So what and you're I, saying and is, I think that's what it takes to figure out the brand quantity, quantity. I tell her frequency. Frequency will allow you to see what you're supposed to really be talking about. But I love when you say creativity follows commitment. Yeah. Mm, so like these that. things and all these creative ideas that you're having when you can see something follows your commitment yeah. and your passion to help people and change yeah. finances. And then out of that, all this creativity comes from you. Yeah, I it, like that. Because, like, for example, in uh, I know the stadium in Florida, right? You guys had, like, what, 35,000 mm -hmm. people? Yeah, 34,290 so people just to be exact. But who's yeah. counting, right? Yeah. 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 Certainly was, not I us. Was, <laughs> I was multiple times. But for you, I'm sure there was an element of, like, holy shit, how am I going to do this? But you committed and then yeah. your creative exactly. solutions showed up because now I have to. Now yeah. my name, I have to. Now I want to. Well, no, I could have come up short. And you were okay with that? No. No. Yeah. So the pressure. Definitely not. So you're okay saying. So you're saying basically, Grant. Would for, you, for no one, by the way. Like, like if I came up short and did twenty eight thousand people there, nobody would know. Everybody would walk in and say, "God dang, who does this?" Mm -hmm. A lot of people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it, it's me. It's me personally. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to prove it. Your your approval or disapproval of me does not change how I feel about myself. So would you say? Let me ask you this. 
Would you say that it's very similar to the syndrome of, for example, say in high school or college, where maybe like because you have the essay, you have two weeks to do the essay, but nobody does it till a couple of days before? Oh, yeah. The Would night you say before. that a lot of business is like that, committing to something that you feel like, shit, I don't know if I could do this, but because you commit, it just reservoirs of things that you didn't even know were there sort of pop into place. Would you say more of your growth was attributed to that? Or are you actually building and earning your momentum along the way? Do you get what I mean? Yeah. I, 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 don't, I don't know if there's a, you know answer to that. But yeah. I know I create a lot of content compared to other people. You know, the amount of content. Not, not the amount of broadcast, the, the interviews. Anybody can do interviews. You can do right. seven interviews a day. But what's, what's the product coming out of it? I had a buddy I called the other day. I said, why are you doing all these interviews? He's like, man, I'm wondering the same thing. What's the product, bro? Well, I mean, where's yeah. the product that comes out of the end of this? So if you'll notice, like, we, we do a lot of stuff, but it becomes something people can actually get, a package. Uh, when Steve Harvey was on my stage and he said, he said to these 34,000 people, guys, I don't have anything to sell you. And I'm like, yeah, and you'll never be invited back if you don't next time. <laughs> and shame on you, by the way, Steve. Yeah. And he's like, for, for what? Right in front of everybody. Mm-hmm, for mm-hmm. what? For shame on what? Shame on you that you would come here with so much intelligence, mm. so much to offer people, and not have for something for them to walk out of here with. So commitment, and commitment. that changed him, by the way. Yeah, really. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. That was good for him. Yeah. And so commitment, you know, it would it would mean you're not you, something should be coming out of it, right? And and so the, the reason the reason I can produce so much content is because I'm committed. Yeah, the, the, you, and the deadlines are really squeeze. important. Like that SAT, yeah. the, 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 you need a deadline. To say I'm getting this out at, at this time because it pressures you to have to, not just want to or when you're ready or whatever. Yeah. So one thing we did, like with her, I said, "Hey, we need a landing page up, <laughs> your site to be up. Like, uh, it needs to be up. You need to start selling it before you actually produce it. Oh, yeah, that way, I'd you're forced to, to deliver it. To yeah, that. the pressure. Yeah. How about we do that? I yeah. love that. <laughs> the pre-sale. Now, Lena, let me ask We're you this. Waiting for how has your brand exploded? Like, what have you been doing that you noticed work that's allowed you to reach more people? How has it impacted your business? She just says, give me more followers. Yeah. <laughs> um, what, what am I doing more of? I'm doing, like, the women in power thing. I'm really... Global, global I'm, woman. Global woman. She, 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 she was, yeah, tell them. Yeah, I, I went to the Global Woman Summit. I won she was the Global awarded. Woman Woman of the Year. Woman wow. of the Year. Congratulations. Put in front of, thank you. In front of a, a lot of women. And, and I'm just doing more things now. Um, I put out the book in the last year. Um, certainly that's helped. People understand what it is that I do, what we do, and, and how other people can do what we do to fast track their success. Um, speaking more and doing women's seminars and now the online program. It's just all growing more for me now. Now I'm at a point where, um, you know, in the beginning when after 2008 happened and basically everything kind of collapsed with his company and I was pregnant, I wasn't acting in LA as an eight month pregnant woman uh, with the economy collapsed. But at that point, I really put all of my attention and assets to, to really growing this thing that we had and building it together. Um, and so I focused so many years on that. Now I finally feel like, well, now I have some experience. I know what I'm talking about in my area. I'm not the business person, but I know what I'm talking about in my area. And now my kids are um, almost eight and 10. So now I feel like I can kind of package what it is that I've done that actually really helped us get, and him, I think you'll admit to this. and, and If you've I been, have to. But you do very well at acknowledging me, and yeah, that's yeah, why yeah, a lot yeah. of people really yeah, yeah, are impressed right, by you, yeah, and I certainly yeah, am, yeah. because, you know, certainly we are a team. And, um, Were you guys so, at rock bottom during that 2008 together? Yeah, definitely. Really? Yeah, we went through that together. Was 2010 that, was the best thing that ever happened to us. Why do you keep saying 10? I thought Because it, it happened eight. in 10. It, it, it started in 8, but the culmination... The Lehman collapse was in 8. Uh, no, well, actually, actually, the whole thing came apart in 10. So the world acknowledged the, the, the issue. Yeah. But, but 2008, it started to unwind, and then 2010, it was like... What year did we watch them on the news when Lehman collapsed? What year was that? I don't that? know. I could look it up. I thought it was I eight. I could look it up okay. on the phone. We probably got to Yeah, anyway, so now, that, to answer your question, yes, I'm at a point now in my life where I have my own message, and that's why I'm, I have the time, and his thing is up and running. I know how to keep that running. I can do that with my eyes closed, you know? And so that's why, that's why Everything now, that's happening is done with her eyes closed. 
<laughs> I do. I like to work out with my high school too. I'm like, oh, how much longer? Let me ask you guys this. A lot of people wrote in different questions. <laughs> I don't of, even know what that means. Uh, I was saying something else, but anyway. Yeah. Nobody well, got I was trying to diffuse your whatever, your mind, uh, yeah. gutter mind. Yeah. So let me ask you guys, what's the biggest misconception that most people have about you and Elena? What do you guys think? I individually, differently? In individually, what, yeah. what, what, what? Like when people meet you, they're, they're the most, what do you think that like they think that is not actually the reality? About her? About both you guys, like for you oh, oh, and then about us for Elena. As a, uh, I don't know. What do, what do people tell you about you? I mean, people I think are I mean, surprised. I know what they say about me. What, so. what do they say? <laughs> But but that's not the question. Well, I think people <laughs> think that they're surprised that we they that we they this is what they say that I can't believe how real you guys are. Like that what they see on social media is really who uh -huh. we are when the social media is not there. And I think that surprises people because they either expect me for some reason to be snooty or because uh, you're a rich white chick. Maybe I don't know, <laughs> but I. But that's not me. I mean, I no. Feel she's not snooty. She's very. She's the friendliest person to a default. So I'm like, yeah. you have to. You can't be that friendly. Like, <laughs> Watch you, you, yourself, Elena. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, it's just too friendly. It's, yeah. it's, it's, she wants to be nice to everybody, right? Yeah. That's has, true. Has he ever gotten jealous? Has Grant the jealous type? Mm, Initially, not, he's not really a no, jealous type no, of no, person. No. But I am definitely he has not jealous. gotten a little jealous a couple times. Uh oh. But when? <laughs> I, I, tell, I am not I a jealous tell. guy. That's not true. That okay, when? Give me one. Give me okay, one. Give well, me one. I, I train with my, my boxer guys, and I train, and I can tell he gets jealous oh, I train at the so gym. Because he doesn't support that's me. stupid, He man. doesn't that's support like, me in that. Yeah. yeah, he puts like, I don't know down. why she's doing it. I support doing him it. on everything. I'm like, you're the man, go. And all I want to do I, is I do my stupid little that. MMA, and he can't stand it. No, and I don't understand. I'm like, what's the point here? And I those guys are all cute and buffed out. They're not cute. None of them are cute. You're jealous. <laughs> They're not, not not one of them's cute. <laughs> They're adorable. Oh my god. Uh, uh, Grant, anyway. Which one? It, is That's a, like, which one? Grant, Grant, does Elena get jealous when women come up to you or like flirty or whatever with you? Well, well look, let, let's just clear this up, okay? okay. <laughs> I'm a lot of things. Yeah. I'm a lot of things. Jealous is not okay. something. Okay. Right. You're not labeled like, jealous because what, what you, you do not it? support no, because me. I, I, you do not it, it, support me I think, at all. I'm like, if what's the, the point? The truth is coming out. What, this what, is the first time the truth is coming out. See, for me, matter. for me, everything, everything. It's so sexist, too. <laughs> yeah. Everything is. Everything needs to become something for me. So the problem I have with her boxing is like, I'm, what does it lead to? Where's it lead? Oh, okay. Let me finish. Let me finish. So where's it going? That's what I don't understand. Okay. It's okay, now, fitness. I wake up early before work. I get my office, my office time in. I'm doing it. I wake up at five thirty every morning to go train. But what's the what, point? She's like, being a good energy. I would rather see her do what that. What's the point? I, 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 I would I'm rather addicted. see her. I'm learning. I can protect my kids. Maybe. Oh, maybe if someone attacks me, I stand a one percent chance of escaping. Maybe that's the problem. You want me to get killed. <laughs> That's right. Take her. <laughs> so, 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 like, like, I'm, not, yeah, I that's what, like, like, for me, all the work is, like, I go in there, I work out 50 minutes, I'm out of there. I'm not trying to become a championship boxer. You know, now, if I was taking Sketch into the cage, oh, yeah, I'd do 90 days. Because <laughs> it, but it would be for a product. I'd want to produce a product. Yeah. Pay do per you view, think that bucks. he should support me in my endeavors to want to do MMA? And should he support me and say, "Go! I'm so proud of you. You're such a strong woman. You're empowering other women Elena, to get Elena, out." Elena, this is going for me answer being jealous of your fucking little boxer bitch. Ooh, to, 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 does that sound like jealousy? Uh, Post in comments oh yeah, oh below. Yeah, oh yeah, I'm fucking. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so jealous. Oh my God, that's so stupid. This is getting <laughs> scandalous. That's so scandalous stupid. It's good. ridiculous. Okay. But on the, on the flip, okay. on the flip. Yeah. Now, the, what do people say about me? Yeah. Uh, and then also, does Elena get jealous when women come to you? Oh, I don't think so. Do Never. You? Do you? Really? I, I, no. First of all, women don't come up to me. Women don't come up to me because I'm like, like I, it, it's clear I'm not avail available. I think if women are coming up to you, it's because you're putting the vibe out. Gotcha. Yeah. Like, like, like bees don't pollinate where there's not a flower saying, let's play. Yeah, 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 gotcha. So, so. He's very honorable. I'm very lucky. Like, like, like you women not just not come to me. Like now, if, when I was single, okay, <laughs> I was pollinating. You were a flower. Okay. I was a you fucking flower. You were a big time flower. Yeah. You were a, a honeysickle. No, I was like, I was like a honeycomb. I was like, you know, I was a honey stick. I was like. <laughs> you taking it over the edge. I gave you honey I mean, sickle. I, I was like, I had a red light on. I was like, well, ding, ding, you know? Yeah. But, 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 dude, once I commit to something, it's like, okay, dude, it's clear. Like, the, the, the night she agreed to go out with me, 
I, I had on a Thursday night at, at right up the street in Los Angeles, right at Celebrity Center. I was driving out, told her I just finished doing this course, and she's like, oh, well, that's cool. And then she's like, how about, I said, you want to go to the gun range or something? She's like, yeah, let's go Saturday. That was on a Thursday afternoon about 5 o'clock. Right. She said yes. The first time she said yes. You went out at the gun range or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And, and I'm driving down the road in a Hummer. I leave her. I'm all excited. I called this chick. I had a date the next night with a girl, 18, 19 years old. Oh, my God. Okay. So. Talking about bees, honey, and flowers, okay? <laughs> okay. I called the chick up and I said, cancel tomorrow night. Why? What's up? I said, look, I, I'm going out Saturday night. I didn't have a date Friday night. Saturday night, I'm going out with the chick I'm going to marry. I don't want to oh, waste your time. Oh, don't you love that story? And that was your first date? Huh? That was mm -hmm. your first date with her? Yeah, that was for, yeah that's right. I love so, so once I shut the door, it's like, so I don't have women coming to me. And you never cared about the fact that like, oh, I come across like this. I don't want her to think I'm weird. Just full speed ahead. F it. Yeah, I mean, look, I had to alter my, 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 approach. my approach to her for sure. Yeah. Nothing would have worked. It didn't matter. This is what I was telling Sketch today. So <laughs> Sketch keeps saying, hey, what's the perfect opening? What's this? But dude, there is no perfect opening. Quit, quit looking for some gimmick, okay? Quit looking for a gimmick. You're looking for a gimmick because you're a shortcut guy. It's the only reason to look for a gimmick or a trick or you're looking for a trick because you don't want to work. So there was no, no perfect thing I could have said to her, no right thing, no gift, no, nothing I could have done in the beginning that would have got her. Maybe it wouldn't have taken 13 months, <laughs> but, but, just because of where she was at mentally at that she time. She was screwed up, bro. Yeah, yeah. No, I completely agree with that. She, she couldn't see me. Like, it had right nothing now. to do with me. So, so you know, the fact that she wasn't interested in me. had a me, lot of hurdles to overcome. It wasn't about me. It was about her. Yeah. That's true. And th this is what really helps me in building my brand. It's like, I know people, you know, that old saying about first impressions most important. Well, it's not true. The last impression is more important than the first impression. The first impression she had of me was terrible. Like you said, there's not one thing you can do to kill a deal, right? You can't. You can't kill a deal. Sometimes to become a deal, it's because you decide it's going to become a deal. It's not because of fate or destiny. We weren't destined to be together. Do you feel like wealth even worked that way for you as well? It worked against me with her. Really? Mm -hmm. uh, having money worked against me with her. Oh, now, I, I would she say he was some people rich probably, guy or whatever. Mm -hmm. just, yeah. I would say mm -hmm. people judge her and say she's a gold digger. You know, she's just with Grant. She'll, I've even had people say this. Oh, she'll leave the moment, the moment he's, uh, something broke happens to him, he'll, yeah. He'll, he's gone. Yeah, if he's broke, he, she's gone. Mm -mm. But yeah, I understand. Yeah. Would you be with Grant if he was broke and lost everything? Well, yeah, because I know how to build it back up with him. You know, we built this together. We're not, I mean, you know, so. We wouldn't make sense of being broke, trust no. me. Yeah, mm -mm. you wouldn't stay we'd there. Be, wouldn't be, stay there huh? long. You no. wouldn't stay there long. No, because yeah. we're both willing to dig in and do whatever it takes. You know, money does, I don't need money to, I like money. I like the luxurious things in life, but I don't need that to be who I am. I know who I am, and it doesn't involve money. Do you think building a brand or business together as a couple has accelerated the process a lot more than, I know you said when you were single, but what is it about having a relationship, the right relationship, that creates that synergy to move faster? Is it the fact that you're always talking about it together? You have someone to... Pitch and yeah, catch with, what that, is it? Because a lot of couples don't fact, do that nowadays. It's the fact that we can each go out and create and build all day. And when we come home, we're not destroying and attacking each other. We've got, we're on the same page with our roles and where we're going as a goal that when we build, 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 we do not come home and destroy. We go out, build, build, build. We come home, we build and allow that building to be And we're not momentum. perfect at this. Like We're like, not taking two step forwards and one step back or two step forwards and five step backs. Yeah, we're not yeah, constantly yeah. doing that to each other. Yeah. I mean, when he's focused on his work, he's focused on his work. I'm, he's not worried about, oh, we had a fight and the kids are all upset. And this is, no, I run my division. I run the household. Everything is, is smooth and easy so he can focus on the deals. You know, so he's not making mistakes at work. We, we have a good synergy. And that, those little things, it's not big, huge things in life. It's those little adjustments that can actually catapult you to the next stratosphere. Mm, I love that. And Grant, you talk about that a lot too. Like, just stay in the game, keep playing. Even if you're losing, you're having a tough, yeah, cuff, yeah. Cuff, cuff, uh, tough couple months. If you just stay in it, something little thing will pop. Us. You always talk about how like some little thing will pop when you least expect it. Yeah, and it'll take yeah. the next level. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit about how important that is, not just with brand building, but as it relates to business, just staying yeah, so in the game, like, even if like, the momentum isn't a perfect trajectory upwards. Yeah, you know? yeah, and and it, and it isn't a perfect tra trajectory, but but it shouldn't be this either. Right. This is not like the, I know you see the squiggly sign on the. This yeah, is what yeah, success yeah. really yeah, is, yeah, and yeah, that's yeah. not really what success is. You, if you do that, you're gonna you're gonna just you're die. Never you're it. not you know, so. 
maybe that's good for sperm doing that, yeah. but 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 <laughs> like you should not as a human being with intelligence be doing like this. Now, the only reason to do that is, hey, I want to go here, and she's like, no, I want to go there. Like I want to drive, and she wants to tell me how to drive. Then I'm trying so to hire a driver. So you put a Persian guy as a driver, and he can go. He can go 75 miles an hour down Hollywood Boulevard. <laughs> I can't go 27 miles an hour. I'm gonna get some shit from her. <laughs> but but as long as he looks like a good driver, she's like, oh yeah, do whatever you want. He can cut back and forth. He'll she'll never say one word to the dude. Okay, put me there. Oh my god, I'm gonna get holy hell. So I'm like, I'm not driving. So you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Now when I'm in a real estate deal. She never second guesses, mm -mm. guesses me. So you guys have learned how to, like, who does what role? What are the yeah. roles? Where's the room for flexibility? Oh, yeah, for sure. So she see me lose yeah. deals and, like, freaking lose it. Like, like I lost this uh, mm. a $90 million, $91 million deal. Had it in my hand. It was literally like they took the, it yeah. from me. I had it. Money. I had signatures. I had everything. They took it and gave it to somebody else for another $2 million bucks. I mean, just complete, totally wrong, right? Well, that happens. I mean, th bad things happen to good people. So when that happened and I'm freaking livid, I want to tear everything in my house up, right? Well, she's there supporting me, right? So not making me wrong, not like, and, and then, and then she's like, hey, wrong. what's the solution here? You know, you know, I'm like, oh, the solution is go get more deals. Yeah. I was, I was back on track the next morning. Mm -hmm. I was on the track the next morning filling up my damn pipeline. Do you ever have rough days, Grant, where you're just like, fuck, I'm out of it for a couple of weeks or a couple of days or what? Well, that, what? Well, that one hits you for the weekend. Yeah, you yeah, were yeah, yeah. screwed that, up. That I was in the middle of the movie. What was the movie we, we went to see? The, I don't the, even, we the, had the to leave. The John Wick movie. The John Wick oh, movie. Yeah. Literally sitting down at John Could, Wick. I'm, couldn't watch it. Get I'm, the phone I'm, call. It's a Friday afternoon, one o'clock in the afternoon. Leave. I'm like, okay, I can't wait. I got my deal. This is happening right now. But I just made a bunch of money in John Wick opening scene and I get a phone call. Hey, Grant, we have a problem. I said, fuck you. We ain't got a problem, dude. You got a problem. <laughs> yeah. Like, and I just, literally, I'm in the bathroom yelling at the guy, like losing my mind. Like, nobody would ever believe this. I wish I had you video guys there. <laughs> and, so behind the scenes. And then I tried to go back in the movie and I couldn't. I said, yeah, I can't. He I can't was like destroyed. Movie. I got to leave, you know. Yeah. So, you know, that, that wrecked the weekend of me trying to figure out, I kept just going back to what did I do wrong? Mm -hmm. Because if you can just return back to what you did, you can handle it. Because I couldn't make sense of what they did. There's no, no way to make sense. It was completely wrong. And then you did, what did you I implemented do? a couple new things that Put you'll some do new for, policies. for going forward. We're always going to do X, Y, and Z. She and then you feel it. like you're yep, back yep. on top of things. Had a like meeting with those guys the following Monday. Yeah. Those guys came to my office and I said, hey guys, I just want to know, what did I do wrong? This is how the meeting started. What did I do to make you think you could do that to me? You could do that to me. I love that. And the, he's like, huh? I said, what did I do to you to give you the sense that, you know what, we should fuck Grant right here. Yeah, this is okay. Language. And the guy, the guy was like, the guy was like uh, uh, you, you didn't do anything. I said, I, I must have done something, because I would never do this to anybody. I must have done something to you guys that made you feel like, you know what, he's like, Grant, it's $2 million. Bottom line is, it's $2 million. So you would money. have honored, if you were in his place, would you have honored the deal and taken less money because you had given your word to somebody else? Uh, I, no, I, I would have really? probably... Yes, I would have honored Mo. I would have called him and said, hey, I got an opportunity to make $2 million more money. I would have talked it out with him. Yeah, at least try to, to, yeah. to make so, some So money. here's the deal. Like, me and you are going to either work out something or, you know, if it's the best, the best scenario is for me to sell it to this guy anyway and go down that road, maybe I would. Because they did have one little out. There was one little thing I didn't do right that they could hang their hat on. Yeah. But, you know. You live and you learn. Yeah. yeah, and that's yeah. why we implemented no it. No one deal, follow. no one deal, no one of any, no one of anything should ever destroy. Mm -hmm. Fill the pipeline. Yeah. Fill the pipeline. The, the, sa the same way it never, like one thing doesn't build a business. It's it, all these little it, things over it, time. It's the momentum it, really. It, it, exactly. Okay. So, so at some point you just got to get over it, right? Yeah. And that's what she's so good at with me. And also I'm not having to come home at night, which I know a lot of guys do, and hear, like this is huge. You work too much. Uh, you do too much. You're gone too much. I, I never hear that. Never, ever. Now, I don't know that's because she's got something else. She's so happy when I'm not around. Mm -hmm. Or she she's a team player, and she's like, I know why we're doing this. Mm -hmm. I know why we're doing this. Yeah, I, I, that's the reason. Yeah. Now, let me ask you guys this, because I know we're wrapping up this episode really quick. I want to ask you guys one last quick question before we get into the next piece. Is, and, and I want one person's answer each. What would you guys say? Like, people come up to you guys all the time, right? Mm -hmm. Ask you guys questions. What would you say, we'll go with you first, Selena. 
What would you say is the number one thing that you guys can attribute to you guys' momentum, success, scale, speed, the whole thing that other people aren't doing? So as opposed to traditional advice that people will say, you know, like what is it truly? Because there's not, not a lot of couples out there that have had your guys' level of success, your level of impact, both for men and women all over the world. But like, <clears throat> what is it truly that you feel you guys do different? And I want honest answers from both of you guys. No, no, whether Atlanta, don't give me an honest whether, answer. Whether it's, whether it's like building a, whether it's building a brand or a business, what is it that you guys have done different that you think resonates with so many people around the world that they could, if they're I watching think, this, I think two things come immediately. to mind first off. And the biggest mistake that we made early on in our relationship is we didn't think big enough sooner. And now we think everything we think of is massive. That's why I wrote the book, Build an Empire, because I think big. I think empires. I think conquering the world. I think big, I think scale, how can we go big on everything? And that just opens your mind to possibilities. It's also scary too. It's very scary sometimes, yeah. I think. And then the second thing that we do that um, most people, I don't think ever do, but again, it's in my book is um, as far as a couple goes, we we wrote down our couple's goals. Mm -hmm. Like I ha everyone has their own goals, that's a no brainer, but who who are you together as a couple? Who do you represent as a couple? What is your brand as a couple? And then you have to hold yourself accountable to that image, to that who you want to be and who you want to represent. So years ago, before we were like anyone on social media, I wrote down, I want to be a model role couple. And what does that mean to be a model role couple? Role model couple. R yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Model role role? Couple. A role couple model? I would say no, a model no. role couple. We get it. We get it. I don't okay. think so. I don't think so. Anyway, Let's say it right. However, role model. <laughs> a couple role model. No, no. Role, role model, model couple. couple. Yeah, a yeah. role model couple. I wanted to be a role. I wanted to be that power couple. I wanted to be a yeah, role yeah, model for, for the community, for others, for people. So, so you guys so saw it before so, it manifested. Yes, you, I yeah. saw it. I, I wrote it already. down as our couple's goals. I want to be this. I want to be a person that people can look up to and say, I want to be like them. Well, what is that holds me up to a higher standard. That means I have to do things extraordinary and excellent in my relationship. That means, you know, there's times when we fight or this or that, and I hold, it pops into my head. I'm a model a role model couple. Right. Yeah. And then that's I better. think, well, if they if the public saw me being this petty over this, that's not being that's not who I am. That's mm -hmm. not what I represent. Yeah, so yeah. I have to force myself to get over certain things faster because I have to hold myself up to and the throw this standard out quite a bit. Because you've committed to a bigger game yeah, up front. And yeah, it yeah, helps yeah. us. That that makes, makes us grow better because I have more accountability, more responsibility. And because now I have a bigger goal to be something bigger than just me and my little pettiness. You know, when you hold yourself like to a crown, to a higher purpose. Like to, what's a petty, what's a petty thing that somebody could do if they didn't have that? What you mean like the driving? What's a petty, or? what's a petty thing? Forget the driving. What's a petty thing somebody might do in a relationship? It could be anything. It'd be, it could be arguing that I leave the you cabinet don't text doors me. open. You don't text or, me. I hadn't heard from you in three hours. The thing, or you don't put the toilet seat down. Or why do you put your clothes not in the hamper? Stupid stuff. Yeah, don't you sweat know? the small you stuff. You know, yeah. figure out how to handle it. Get a housekeeper or pick up the stuff or don't care about the I'll toilet seat. I'll go three seat days without texting. You know, it's like, you're, you're, yeah, you know. Three days without a phone call, dude. How about you, Grant? What do you think? About what? <laughs> <laughs> or what do I think about what? What do you think when it comes to, because the question I asked Elena was yeah, like, yeah. People, people all the time ask you guys, well, Grant, how do I have the success, right? People want the, like you said, the quick fix, all this. Yeah, yeah. But what is it that you haven't shared before? Or what is it that you think that people hear but maybe don't do the most? Like people who are watching this, they probably watch your videos tons of times. But you what is it? You always ask this question. You always ask for that. Well, the holy that's, grail. That's, the because that's what people grail. want. That's what but they need it? to hear. That was the same. Everyone's Stupid. looking, there's everyone's there's looking there's for the holy grail. They want to know, what does he do first thing in the morning? I'm like, uh, First uh, thing I do is wake up. Yeah, wake up. Okay, I've been waking up now for 61 years. You wake up. Then you then you freaking show up. Then you go to work. Then you get great at what you're doing every day. Like, so you think that's the real difference? The bottom line common denominator is just a bigger commitment. Between me and who? Yourself. Between me and who else though? Well, like, like, what are you comparing to, right? So like, I'm just trying to get a little better every day. What's the difference between you and everybody else? Not everybody I mean, because, else sees you because as Because there's some guy star. in some cave in Afghanistan that's got nothing, man. Like there's Well, people nothing. who look up to you. The difference between you and people who look up to you that never quite get there. Uh -huh. I guess that's that's my bottom line question. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, what's the difference? You, you don't quit. Mm -hmm. You will get there. Like, don't quit. If you don't quit, you know, see, the thing about me is I won't quit, so I won't fail. Mm. And even when I quit, I won't quit, which means I'm, gonna, I'm not going to fail. Like, I can't fail. It's impossible for me to fail. You, you give me one, like anything. You tell me, hey, Grant, uh, could you become a billionaire? If I don't quit, I'll become a billionaire. 
impossible for me not to do it. If I don't quit. Mm -hmm. And the more and no matter how out. bad it is, like, like you could take everything from me today and I'd be like, okay, and let's say I made the decision, I am going to go to space. Uh, good, if I don't quit, I will make the trip. So, but he see. also does what he says. So he follows through on the commitment. He follows yeah. through on everything immediately. I mean, but, from but, the but moment I will it comes undo in, commitments that I've made that aren't good for me any oh, longer. I'll undo too. a deal. I'll undo a deal. But or an that's interview. Some, huh? Or an interview like today. Did I? Oh, you almost did. Well, well, oh yeah, I almost did, but I didn't. But I didn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get you. I almost did, and and, and so and then then I almost did again. Right? <laughs> yeah. So so um. Like, like undoing a deal, okay? C uh, not quitting doesn't mean you do stuff that's bad for you just because you agree to it. True. Like ethics, man, it's oh, ethics. I'm glad you clarify like, that. The thing is about ethics. What is ethics? Like 90% of the people out there are honest. Honest because they won't steal anything. If I leave it on the counter, they won't take it. But then they go steal from themselves the rest of the day. They don't do what they say they're gonna do. They half-ass greet people. They half-ass provide a good service. They leave early. They're not all in all the time. And that's the difference. Mm -hmm. and, 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 the difference. and I'm in, like I'm all in mm -hmm. all most the of the time. time. Now, I'm Even to a point to where, uh, I was doing this deal last Thursday. And when I, 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 the next day was gonna be the end of our due diligence. Uh, I'd already put 100,000 non-refundable in the deal. So that's that's gutsy. Yeah, you got skin in the game. I got boom. You guys keep a hundred, and I had another six hundred, five hundred going the next day. So a total of six hundred would be non-refundable. Called the guys up and I said, "Look, we're in contract at fifty-five. Uh, I'm ready to roll. I need a two million dollar adjustment on the price. People wouldn't fucking live it. Yeah. Why? I knew that was going to happen. Yeah. Now." They're like, oh my God, you're retrading me. I said, yes, I am. Retrading in the, no, the real you did not retrade. Retrading in the real estate game is a it's an awful thing. Like right. it's 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 skanky. It's, it's sketchy. It's it's not good. I said, guys, you could call this a retrade, but it is a retrade only to the degree that I found out about the roofs. You covered it up. I found out about the 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 the, the stairways, five hundred grand, and the paint. I got to do the paint. You guys photoshopped the whole property, made it look like it didn't need paint, it does. I said, look, bottom line, and the economics of the property, hang the on, point. huh? Get to the point. No, it is a point, it's a big point, okay? So, see, my ethics kick in and say, yeah, but you agreed to buy the deal. The other ethics point, I got 100 grand, man. I might, might lose here. I'm not gonna get that money back. But there was another point where it said, you guys need to do the right thing. Okay, I'm doing the right thing here. And you become, you become the, the, the enemy now because you're taking a very strong point of saying, no, we're gonna renegotiate the price. It took Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. They finally, Monday afternoon, I called Ryan at 4.15. I said, I think in the next 28 minutes, they're gonna call and say, let's do it. They strung me out for five days. Literally within and 20, they 26 said, yeah. minutes, so the they point said, is, we're going to do the deal. If the deal's not and right, just happy. because you committed, yeah. you Just can because undo you it. commit to something. But I, I you it. said, yes, I did retrade, but that is not true. I need it, you to correct it, that it, on it, camera it's because not, you it's did not, a not retrade. retrade. It was renegotiating not, a bad okay, deal. Thank you. When I found they out something. hid that in yeah, the due diligence. Yeah, yeah. So, but some people would still say it's a retrade, but it wasn't, okay? But in the end, you got the deal. The point is, and they did too. The point is, everybody won, okay? When everybody wins because we finally come together. Um, and it goes back to that thing about no one thing can blow a deal, right? But you need a lot of, you gotta work, man. Just gotta work, gotta keep it going, gotta get a good partner like this chick, okay? And I'm not jealous, okay? I fucking hate that you said <laughs> I that. I don't know, I put that it. in comments. Comment below. Is Grant Cardone jealous? Comment you know they're gonna below. cut this that up 17 that. different so ways. So exciting, I can't wait yeah, to yeah. see what y'all say. Yeah. Well guys, thank you guys so much for this episode on this yeah. interview focused on branding and business. Yeah, thank yeah. you guys so much for yeah, being on the show. Yeah, 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 our yeah, time yeah, is limited. Whatever, thank you so much, Grant. Thank you so much, Elena. That's a wrap, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe and follow Grant and Lena to see everything they're up to on the 10X World Tour. I'll see you guys next time. That's awesome. If you guys enjoyed that video, be sure to hit that subscribe button right now because every week we bring you the very best in personal development content, interviews, and insight to help inspire you to take your life and your dreams and make them a reality. And also, if you want to know how to book dream guests the same way I have, you can check the link below for my top three secrets. So if you have a podcast or a show or whatever it is and you want to collaborate with them, if you click that link below, I'll give you those top three secrets to help you get in touch with anybody. And also, don't forget that the Passionate View is available on media platforms as well. 
iTunes. You can subscribe to the podcast. And until next time, thank you for being one of the passionate few.